Okay, so this is our fourth and final power supply that we have in our lab. This is a programmable DC, DC power supply from Rigol Instruments. I can say that this is might be the best power supply that we have here in the lab. So, what are from right off the bat the advantages of this power supply? First, you have three channel outputs. So you have 30 volts up to 3 ampere first channel, second channel 34 uh, 30 volts 3 ampere channel, and you have a dedicated 5 volt 3 ampere channel. So if you have any digital application, you would use this 5 volt channel. If you are you having any application which are analog and require voltages up to 30 volts, then you can use both these channels. Also, using the right configuration, you can use this power supply to provide positive and negative voltage variable at the same time, which I will show you in a moment. Now, first you start off the supply by turning it on. Wait for it to boot up. Okay, now when you look at the interface screen, you have three displays. Okay, just let me zoom in on it. Yeah, so you have one screen for channel one, one screen for channel two, and one screen for channel three. So this is 30 volts, 30 volts, and this one is 5 ampere. Uh, sorry, 5 volts, my mistake. Now, each channel can be enabled or disabled by just pressing this on or off button. What do I mean by on off button? Meaning, when you are normally working on a circuit in the lab, once you are done, you just, or you want to modify something in the circuit, you just turn off the power, modify the circuit, and then turn it on again. In this one, you don't have to do that. Since this is digital and it takes time to process and turn on again, you can use these buttons to enable the channel. Okay? Now, for example, I want to modify the voltage in this channel, which is channel 1 in this case. How will I do that? Simple. Let me just zoom out a little bit. you have one of two options you can go here and select that you want to modify the voltage and then you can play with this knob you can see that you are playing with the decimal points and you can move the arrows to show how much decimal voltage you want to play with and if you want to play with the current just go to this one current and you can change the current value as you want okay but a more and better approach is to do the following. I want, for example, 5 volts to be my output. So I'll say 5 volts. So my output is set to 5 volts. Now, if I want my current to be like 100 milliampere, so I can say 100 milliampere. One second. Ah, sorry, I pressed the voltage, so press this one back, so this is 5 volts, and this one is 100 milliampere. So you can see it's set to 5 volts, 100 milliampere. Now, I can go to channel 2 and do the same. Let's change the voltage, let's say this is going to be 7 volts. And my current is going to be... Also, let's say 100 milliampere. Okay, so it's set right now. So I can just simply turn on the channels from here. So this one is activated and this one is activated. Once you activate them, you can see that you have three, three readings coming out. So you have the voltage, which is applied right now on the terminal. You have the current which is zero right now because you are not consuming anything and you have the wattage okay so this is a time saver that you can know what is the wattage being consumed on the fly without the need to resort to calculations okay so let's just check that it's given out the correct readings using our multimeter So 
Rebecca multimeter meet probes and we start measuring our circuit. So ground to ground and then we measure voltages 4.999 volts almost 5 of course and for this one the voltage is 7 volts okay now if I disable one channel and measure what is the output garbage millivolts means nothing because since the channel is dis uh, disabled there is no output from this channel so if I turn it back on I will get my 4 volts uh, sorry 5 volts of course 4.99 is 5 volts okay. now to show you how to get the negative voltage from this supply meaning if you want to have variable positive and negative what do you do first let's disable this channel and this channel okay and what will I do I will connect channel 1 with channel 2 in series so the negative of channel 1 connects to the positive of channel 2 if I enable them back on again and remember you have these two points short circuiting to each other okay so they are common points so if I use this as my COM point here and then measure this one voltage here is 4.99 if I go to the other one and measure the negative terminal voltage is minus 0.7 okay so this is how you use this power supply to get variable positive or negative voltage for example if you want to change it on the fly just go here you highlight that you want channel 2 and then say 3 volts okay and if we measure again voltage is minus 3.001 okay so that concludes the tutorial for all the power supplies that we have in our laboratory. Thank you very much.